Good evening. Thank you to Kinsman for organizing this event, and thank you for coming. For decades, through NDP, Liberal, and Conservative governments, we have watched farmland bulldozed for development. In 2006, a Liberal growth plan called for 3.7 million people to be drawn to our region over 30 years. This plan would put 80% of Ontario's growth into an area with the best farmland. Tens of thousands of acres of that farmland is in Caledon, south of the Greenbelt. Daily rush hour in the GTA is now 13 hours long, and traffic congestion costs us $5 billion a year. Ours is the area with the highest commute times in North America, yet their plan will make it worse. In 2010, a Liberal Ministry of Natural Resources study made the recommendation that mega quarries are one of the most feasible sources of aggregates. So now, in addition to thousands of acres of pits in, in Caledon, we have a proposed mega quarry on 2,300 acres of prime farmland in Dufferin. One that will go 200 feet below the water table and require 600 million liters of water per day to be pumped forever. A mega quarry that will jeopardize the source water of Central Ontario's major river systems. A quarry that will load 150 gravel trucks per hour. It will rip the heart out of one of the most productive farming communities in Ontario. Now I'm not running to become MPP to preside over the decline of Dufferin County. But that's what the NDP, Conservative and Liberals have been doing over the last decades. More than 154,000 acres of farmland and countryside have been developed in our region since 1993. All three parties have had a hand in that. I'm running for the Green Party because I don't want more pits and quarries, the destruction of sustainable farmland, and gridlock to be my legacy. I'm an engineer. I run my own business. I've been a councillor in the town of Orangeville. I have a wife and three daughters whose future I care about. I'm farsighted and I solve problems. Ontario's mindless, unsustainable growth on farmland is a problem that only the Green Party is prepared to solve. Critical to the solution is elimination of corporate and union donations to provincial and municipal politicians. So, among other things, developers won't dictate planning policy. Now, I know there are any, many other key issues and I look forward to addressing them with your questions. But the Green Party's far-sighted thinking that applies to saving farmland and protecting our quality of life applies to health care, managing taxpayers' money, and every other issue. Thank you. The things that I would do as your MVP, things that have not been done by any other party. First, I would fight to balance the budget in this term of office because none of the other three parties are planning to do so. I, I would ban corporate and union contributions to political parties, as I've mentioned. I would make prime farmland a higher priority than aggregates. I would oppose the development of, of new housing on the 28,000 acres of prime, prime farmland in Southern Canada, that is <coughs> south of Greenbelt. I would end population growth quotas on, mis, on municipalities so that services can keep up with demands. I would stop urban sprawl by restricting residential development to within current boundaries unless the community votes to expand. I would ensure that renewable energy projects have local ownership and local control so that the benefits flow to the community. I would propose that new development pays for the full cost of new services rather than burdening current taxpayers. I would change the parkland allocation so that high-density urban areas have more green space for recreation. I would raise the levy on virgin aggregates to pay for the damage to roads and to encourage more recycling. Finally, I would invest in health promotion to prevent illness and lower health care costs because that is the only way we will be able to afford high-quality health care for all. The Green Party has doubled our vote in Dufferin Caledon in each of the last two general elections because people want these solutions. A Green vote is a vote for long-term planning, good money management, and a better, more sustainable quality of life. With your 
with your vote, we can be part of that of the solution. Thank you.